Welcome back to my channel. Today, I will provide you with information about Tesla's Gigafactory 2 production facility located in Buffalo, New York. Gigafactory 2 is a name used by Tesla for its production facilities, where solar panels, battery storage units, and other components for electric vehicles are produced. This factory contains the latest technology equipment used in the production of Tesla's energy storage products, especially the Powerwall and Powerpack. One of the most important features of Gigafactory 2 is the development and production of Solar City technology used in the production of solar panels. Solar City is a world leading company in the solar energy sector and, after joining Tesla, made a significant breakthrough in the field of solar energy. In many ways, Gigafactory 2 is different from Tesla's other factories. Firstly, this factory is the only facility where Tesla primarily produces energy storage products and solar panels. Additionally, unlike Tesla's other facilities, Gigafactory 2 is a center for both production and R&D activities. Gigafactory 2, an important center for increasing Tesla's production capacity and developing technologies for renewable energy, also works as a joint venture between Panasonic and Tesla. This partnership also plays a vital role in the development of battery systems for Tesla's electric vehicles. In conclusion, Tesla's Gigafactory 2 production facility located in Buffalo, New York, is an important center for developing technologies for renewable energy and increasing Tesla's production capacity. This factory, containing the latest technology equipment used in the production of solar panels, battery storage units, and other components for electric vehicles, has a different structure from Tesla's other facilities. Let's take a closer look at this facility together. Construction on the factory began in 2014, and it became operational in 2017. There were several reasons behind Tesla's decision to build Gigafactory 2 in Buffalo. Firstly, New York State is known for its focus on the renewable energy sector. Additionally, the state government offered many incentive programs for Tesla to choose this location. These incentives included a state funded factory building, significant reductions in energy costs and workforce development programs. Moreover, Buffalo City had the features that Tesla was looking for Gigafactory 2. The city has an ecosystem filled with universities, research centers, and technology firms. This made it important for Tesla to conduct research and development activities and access potential sources of workforce. Although there are different figures on the cost, I prefer to share these figures with you. The estimated cost is reported to be around $750 million. However, it is estimated that the total cost of operating and developing the facility, including the incentives received from state and local governments, is close to $2 billion. As seen in this pricing, we understand how significant the supports are. The factory produces solar panels and products of the Solar City Company. The factory covers an area of about 460,000 square meters and can be expanded up to 1.2 million square meters. Gigafactory 2 was built to increase Tesla's production capacity and help the company stand out in the solar energy market. Tesla has also created a sustainable business model by using renewable energy sources in the factory. The factory produces solar panels, inverters, and other solar products using renewable energy sources. Additionally, solar roof panels, which are products of Tesla's Solar City Company, are also produced at Gigafactory 2. These products are installed on the roofs of homes or businesses to generate electricity from solar energy. To increase its operations at Gigafactory 2, Tesla has formed various collaborations. For example, Panasonic works with Tesla at the factory to produce batteries. Tesla has also benefited from the Buffalo Billion program created by the state of New York to make large-scale solar energy investments. The construction of Gigafactory 2 in Buffalo, New York was not without controversy. There were several legal disputes and controversies that arose during the construction of the factory. One of the main controversies was related to the incentives and subsidies provided by the state of New York to Tesla to build the factory. The state offered Tesla a $750 million subsidy package, which was criticized by some as being too generous. Some opponents argued that the package was unnecessary and that Tesla would have built the factory in Buffalo anyway. 
Another legal dispute that arose was between Tesla and SolarCity's former shareholders. Tesla acquired SolarCity in 2016, but some shareholders argued that the acquisition was not in the best interests of Tesla's shareholders. They sued Tesla and its board of directors, claiming that the acquisition of SolarCity was a bailout of a failing company that was controlled by Tesla CEO Elon Musk. The case was eventually settled in 2019 for $60 million. Finally, there were also concerns raised about the environmental impact of the factory. Some environmental groups were worried about the potential pollution that could be caused by the production of solar panels and other products at the factory. However, Tesla has maintained that the factory is environmentally friendly and has made efforts to use renewable energy sources in its operations. Let's take a look at some recent news about Gigafactory 2. The workers at the Buffalo factory, with the help of Workers United, which is behind widespread organizing efforts among Starbucks employees and started in a store just a few miles from the Tesla factory, announced their intention to unionize. Employees at the facility sent an email to Tesla CEO Elon Musk this week stating their intention to unionize. The workers who sent the email are part of a group of more than 800 analysts working on Tesla's autopilot software, labeling vision data. Some of the workers' demands include a wage increase and job security. Tesla laid off around 200 workers who were performing similar autopilot training work in California last year. Gigafactory 2 workers are also requesting a reduction in productivity pressures, which they say are negatively impacting their well-being. Workers, speaking to Bloomberg News, said that Tesla uses computer and keyboard monitoring to track and time their tasks, causing some to feel pressure to skip bathroom breaks. The unionization efforts began before last fall, facilitated by communication through a Discord server. Then, after Tesla reportedly shut down an internal channel where employees raised concerns, workers began forming an organizing committee. Sarah Costantino, an employee at the factory, told Bloomberg News that they don't really have a say within the company. Costantino said, they took away the voice we had. Looking at this news, we see some cracks. And we had seen Elon Musk mocking this situation in his previous tweets. It remains to be seen whether Tesla will try to prevent this formation or continue on its way by meeting the workers' demands. However, if this situation continues for a while, there are opinions that production will be negatively affected. If there's any strike by the workers in Buffalo, we will see the pressure and influence of the local government and Panasonic, Tesla's partner in Buffalo, on Tesla. As mentioned earlier, if this event prolongs and the workers' demands are not met or they are fired, the facility may face issues with the local government. If you found the content in the video helpful and enjoyable, you can show your support by subscribing to our channel, liking the video, or leaving a comment. Stay tuned for more videos in the future.